It is time to turn another old book into a new journal. And to start with, I used my X-Acto knife and separated all the pages. And now I want to prepare the spine. And for that, I used the end sheets, which were already part of the book. I just cut them to size and glue them down just the way you see me do here. It's a very easy way to prepare the cover for anything else I may want to add to it. Now, this book has a very nice book look. It feels a bit like a canvas, which provides a perfect substrate to do some painting on. But first, I want to cover it in gesso, especially because the cover is so bright red and it will otherwise interfere with whatever colors I want to add to it. And then I will go on with my acrylic paints. I will also use some cling wrap and I will do a technique which you most probably have seen many times before. Either way, the process is super easy to understand and follow. So I will put all my mediums in the captions and I'll let you listen to some music and I talk to you in just a wee bit. Enjoy.
So everything is dry and I went ahead and I attached the eyelets. This time three on the top and three on the bottom. I also already added the elastic string and again I have room for four signatures. I chose not to use beads on this one but I just thread the string from one eyelet to another. Now in my last journal video I explained more in detail about this binding so if you missed it please follow the link below. Now for this book I decided to use fabric for the inside cover. It can be applied in one big piece very quick and easy and it's great to the touch. Next, of course, I added my paper, starting with some sturdy mixed media paper, then a section of onion paper, and then two signatures of slightly green ledger paper. And because of the way the binding is set up, these papers can, of course, all be replaced, replenished, and that makes this book very versatile. So this is the second journal I recently made to be added to my to sell inventory. And even though it is similar in construction to the last one I showed you, it still has its unique look. It's a bit smaller in size, but has a wider spine. And of course, painting the cover gives a completely different effect than covering it in paper. So this time the paint together with the cling wrap gave it great texture and I quite like the, for me, a little bit unusual colors. And of course the feather and the little tassel, I think, make it a little bit fancy. So here is one more journal completed. I hope you enjoyed watching me put it together. Thank you so very much for coming. I hope to see you really soon again and bye bye for now.